couple weeks ago, Bitcoin was over $70,000. And then last night, it moved back down to 60000 Now, most people are frightened by this extreme volatility. And understandably so, the downside volatility can be very uncomfortable. Who likes watching a significant chunk of their wealth fall 15% in a short period of time? But Bitcoin's volatility is not due to the inherent instability of Bitcoin. Contrary to Bitcoin's price, Bitcoin itself is actually the most stable and most predictable asset in the world. It has no CEO, no management team, no earnings to hit, and no competitors competing for its future profits. Bitcoin is a physical bear asset, something that you can physically hold without counterparty risk, kind of like gold. And it has no dilution risk. It's the only asset with a predetermined supply distribution schedule and an immutably fixed total supply. So why is Bitcoin's price so volatile if the asset itself is not changing? Well, companies go up and down because the present value of their future cash flow changes. Bonds go up and down based on default risk and inflation expectations. However, Bitcoin seems to have a mind of its own. Why is it so volatile if Bitcoin itself doesn't actually change? Well, it's the humans that are volatile, clearly. A large majority of capital in the world has no idea how to price Bitcoin. Many say it's worth zero. Few say it's worth over $10 million. A very small minority of the world has learned that Bitcoin is simply a better form of money that they can buy and save. As Bitcoin itself continues functioning and becomes more scarce over time, it will continue increasing in value relative to dollars. As more humans learn that Bitcoin is better money, and they move a large portion of their wealth into Bitcoin, then Bitcoin will also go up in value relative to dollars. And that's where almost all of the volatility is from. Over the last 14 years, Bitcoin has had a compound annual growth rate of over 200%, which is absurdly high. Bitcoin is volatile because it is growing so fast. So just because Bitcoin is highly volatile in the short term doesn't mean there is substantial long-term risk. Consider the recent $10,000 drop in the context of Bitcoin's history. Bitcoin itself traded for less than $10,000 in most of 2020, just four years ago. The volatility of Bitcoin is more due to Bitcoin's rapid global adoption that has been occurring for the last 15 years. This can be confirmed by looking at Bitcoin's Sharpe ratio. Bitcoin's Sharpe ratio shows that its returns are worth its high volatility. Bitcoin has had a substantially higher Sharpe ratio than all other major asset classes. This is showing that the price of Bitcoin is effectively melting up in a superior risk-adjusted manner. If Bitcoin was growing at a steady 200% annual growth rate, what would happen? Well, investors and speculators would catch on to the trend, buy Bitcoin in size, and cause a massive, exponential, unsustainable bull market. Now, ultimately, this results in a volatile, deep bear market that frightens outsiders and wipes out many that don't understand Bitcoin. So sure, Bitcoin can fall 14% to prices seen a few weeks ago, or it can even fall 80% to prices seen a couple years ago. But the price is still likely multiples higher than it was five years ago. Keep this perspective when the price of Bitcoin falls. Nothing can grow fast in a straight line. And Bitcoin itself continues functioning flawlessly as expected with no central trusted third party just like normal.